want the sandwiches and Valium, kid! <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome back to our Fire Red Nuzlocke. I'm Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I'm gonna pick a... Kick a picnicker's ass. Pick a kicknicker's ass? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's a camper, not a picnicker. Women are picnickers, males are campers. You remember that. <laughs> That's so sexist, but nobody's gotten offended at that yet. Alright, here we go. Headbutt. Fuck. Decimated. Goodbye, Hound Door. Just, just the end of life. That was amazing. He's got a Celio. Um, I'm kind of scared of that thing, actually. N not much that I have has a good type of matchup, except for water and ice. The the water and ice Pokemon that I have, and Celio is part both water and ice. So, yeah, Headbutt's just fucking wrecking shit. Oh my god. Boosh! Boosh! Boosh, bitch! Better get out of my way. Move, bitch. My name's Ludacris. I'm the poker best. All right, I did it. TM14. It contains Blizzard. Holy shit! What a nice early time to find Blizzard. <laughs> um, where's my fucking TMs and shit? Oh, TM case. Duh. So we got fucking Rock Tomb, Blizzard. I think fucking Elvis already has Rock Throw, but we will teach Blizzard to. Man, they can both learn it. But, uh, Clam Slam already has Aurora Beam, so I'm gonna teach Mr. Freeze Blizzard. He's just a fucking tank. Like, his defense and shit is through the roof. Get rid of Icy Wind. Fuck yeah. Awesome! Mr. Freeze forgot Icy Wind, and... Machine set! <laughs> Make this part of your brain! Mr. Friesland Blizzard. It's going to be a cold day in Gotham. <laughs> I won't try it on this little punk. Hey, buddy, what you doing? I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. Well, you didn't have to, but I appreciate the sentiment. Da da da. Shell gone. That shit is gonna get wrecked. Yes. Show them what you've got. Blizzard! That's nice. It's real nice. I like having it at level 24. <laughs> OP, OP, OP. Fuck you. Randomized Pokemon OP. <laughs> Youngster Chad is about to use Octillery, which Blizzard won't really work against. And I need to get some other people out here for experience. So, Acorn, get your ass out here. It's time for a little fake out action. And then you mega kick him. Or nature power. What does nature power do out here? Probably the same shit again. We'll find it. Swift. Swift. I bet it's swift. Yep. Does it. What does it change based on? Like the, the literal terrain, so I have to go in the water for it to be something different? That's pretty balls. I'm gonna say. Without reservation. But also, eh, it's fucking nature power. <laughs> it's a shitty move, you knew that. I think it does turn into Earthquake for like Battle Tower and shit though. Like, I can't remember why I think that. I think it was like Generation 4 that that happened. But this is not Generation 4, this is the way, way back. My friend has been many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Well, fucking go catch some. What do you want from me? What? I don't have anything. Typhlosion. Typhlosion is pretty cute. But, uh, he's gonna wreck the shit out of Mr. Freeze. And fucking Acorn. Clam Slam might do okay, but he's low. So I pick Elvis. Elvis, do your thing. Throw rocks on top of this fire and extinguish its life. Don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. Thank you. Smoke screen. God, you dick. I hate accuracy moves. Well, I hate when they're used on me. When I'm using them, they're super awesome and effective. Boom. Fucking body bag, bitch. You got your hit in. Your one little tiny scratch hit. Flygon. My god. It's part ground, which will fuck up my rock. 
we'll pick Acorn. I don't think, yeah, ground can't hit plant for normal damage. It's resistant shit, so. Unless he hits me with a dragon move or some shit. I don't even know what he could possibly have at level 13 anyways. Uh, but, yeah. Mega Kick. Go for the Mega Kick! It's not too bad. It's high-powered. It's, it's your fucking, your haymaker move, basically. And then nature power everywhere else. You're doing alright, Acorn. You're becoming a force, slowly but surely. Kirlia is a psychic type, so I think I'm gonna keep Acorn out here. Cause, uh, yeah, he can't get hit for fucking psychic damage. He's a doc type. Haymaker! Boosh! Fuck. Yes. Amazing. Player defeated the last Haley. Well, goodbye. It was nice to meet you and your little skirt. I'll see you later. Hey! Who's in this house? Nobody? Clay Fairy? Why are you looking at me, Clay Fairy? You're a creep. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out of here. Okay. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Well, I wonder if my rival did do this. I also wonder if I could just leave him in there. No, that would be mean. <laughs> Dayton initiated the teleporter cell separator. <gasps> Whoa! Bro! I hope you weren't lying to me and just a Jigglypuff that wanted to be human. Or Clay Fairy. <laughs> Yeehaw! Thanks, bud! I owe you one! So, did you come see my Pokemon collection? You didn't. That's a bummer. I gotta thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. SS ticket from Bill. Yes, that's why we couldn't leave him in there. Hooray! That cruise ship SS Ann's in Vermilion City. There are lots of trainers on board, too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on, have a good time. Well, thanks, bro. I will do just that. And also talk to these lovebirds outside your house. This cape is a famous date spot. Misty the gym leader has high hopes about this place. Whoa, what's that mean? <laughs> Hello, are you here alone? If you're out at Cerulean's cape, well, it should be as a couple. Uh, okay, I'll ask Bill. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't judge me and my love of solitude? <laughs> uh, I guess we can go maybe catch another Pokemon on Route 26, maybe it is. Yeah, we can get through this house now. What up, what up, I'm in your house now. What happened to your plant? Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. There are obvious signs of burglary here. <laughs> Yep. Mm-hmm. Quite perceptive. Those miserable rockets, look what they've done to my house. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was gonna use it on a Mankey or Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle, it did. Oh, fuck. We shouldn't have bought escape ropes, because we could just teach Dig to uh, Elvis. But fuck it. Fuck it indeed. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? No! Also, I forgot to heal, so... This will be good, I hope. We shouldn't be super, like, out-leveled anyways. Yeah, level 17. And it's part flying type, so uh, I'll go ahead and fuck that up right now. Blizzard missed! Yeah, it tends to do that. Encore! Encore! He wants some more. Why don't we give him some more? And we missed again. Okay. That's just fine. Watch Metronome be like Fire Blast. Sweet Kiss. Confused or asleep? God damn. Became confused. Try it. Go ahead. We've been having so much luck with the RNG already. <laughs> and now I've been yawned, so I basically have to switch. Fart. Oh well! Elvis will fucking do us proud. I'll we'll just throw rocks on top of that thing. It doesn't have the accuracy problem that Blizzard does. I don't give a fuck about Yawn. 
Just have a nap in the middle of battle, it's fine. We love you, Elvis. You do what you want. Peanut butter sandwiches, son! Peanut butter sandwiches and Valium, kid! Fucking top my peanut butter sandwich with Xanax and Valium. <sighs> Mr. Freeze is level 25. I'm trying to learn Protect, but he's not going to because Protect is a shitty move! Unless you're gonna give your Gallade like... Galele like toxic or something like that, but I ain't gonna. Oh, he's got Galele too. What's all this then? All right, we shall let them do battle against each other. <laughs> Mr. Freeze is the fucking the new Eevee. He's my new team mascot. I love him so. Look at him, fucking haymaker kid. Mmm, mmm, -mm. my God. And bite him. And that's it. It's all over, baby. Stop. I give up. I'll leave quietly. Yeah, you will. Won't you, you punk bitch? I'll return the TM I stole. Alright. Thanks, brah. Better get moving. Bye. So he gave me the right TM, I think. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. Yeah, you could just learn it through level up if you weren't a lazy dick. <laughs> now I really do gotta heal my Pokemon though. They're beat up, but uh, that makes them stronger. You know what I mean? You get some, some calluses and scabs on your face. No, not your face. Your face is pretty. We love you. We love you. All right. Let's see if I can uh, make a little capture or something over this way. I don't really want to go face down Misty quite yet until I get another member of my team. Like, my team right now can resist water decently, I guess. God damn it. <sighs> but also, um, yeah, it's going to be randomized. So if, if she has a fighting type, then we're literally fucked. <laughs> it's going to wreck everything on my team because she'll probably be around level 20 something as well which I'm not looking forward to nope nope is this a different route yet yep route 5 all right so let's see what it do first fucking patch of grass oh my god it's a Raikou okay <laughs> well we'll see what we could do against it uh, why don't you bite it hopefully it doesn't just run away Nope, he's gonna fight me. Fuck yeah. Don't crit it. Don't you dare fucking crit it. Alright. Good. Now just Pokeballs. I think. I don't really have anything to put it to sleep or anything. I don't know. <laughs> well, whatever. No, it's not gonna work at all, is it? Shit, man. I need to, uh... I can't. What am I gonna do? Fart butt. Fart butt. I hate it. Alright. Just catch it, please. Please catch it, please. Yes? Oh. Oh, you're giving me some false hope here, Raikou. Come on. I hope that my fucking Galalee doesn't get fucking nailed by the Raikou either. Alright. One, two. God damn it! Alright, he's leering. We gotta get... Galele out of here. Let somebody else take these hits for a second. Actually, Acorn could do pretty well. I don't know if a fake out is gonna kill it. It's like a pretty soft attack, but I'm also eight levels higher than it. So, I don't know. I just don't know. Forty power, and then bite is like fifty, I think. Just a little research, so we don't fuck it up. <sighs> um, sixty. Okay, so I'll I'll try and fake it out, I guess. <laughs> Get to the little closer. Oh please, oh please, oh please. Fuck. Shouldn't have done it. I knew it. Damn. God damn. Anything that we could potentially catch, we're just fucking murdering. 
There's Pokemon daycare there, but I fucking need all the Pokemon that I got currently. <laughs> They're so close to dead. Hi, do you have a Loudred? Want to trade it for my Aerodactyl? Nope. Obviously the trade uh, requests and offers are different as well. Which is pretty cool, in my opinion. People often lose things in the darkness of the underground pass. Well, this is Route 6. We better fucking catch something on Route 6. Please. I'm so overleveled. <laughs> I've screwed myself. Oh, no! It's a female Mr. Mime! <laughs> oh, I hate it! Oh, disgusting creature. Alright. If you can live a headbutt, I guess I'll take you. I fucking hate it. Oh my god. It wants to come with us. <laughs> Alright. It's better than fucking nothing, I suppose. But not by much. Fucking scum. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, it doesn't even want to... You better get in that fucking Pokeball. Here's a substitute, but I was too weak to make it. Wow, he knows substitute. That's pretty interesting, actually. If we could teach him Charge Beam or something like that, then uh, he could become a pretty viable member. God damn, get in the fucking ball! Get in the fucking ball! Does he learn Hypnosis? I need a Drowsy is what I need. Something with some status. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Dick! Yep, okay. Meditate, that's great. If you kill my Galele, I'm gonna fucking... I mean, I can't physically hate Mr. Mime any more than I do already. I don't even know why I'm catching it. I should just headbutt this shit again and fucking kill it. It's wasting all of my Pokeballs. Mmm... Okay. We'll pull him out of there. I don't think he can do anything to Acorn, because Acorn's Dark-type. And Dark-type is OP in, like, the first... or the second generation. It's like second through fourth, I guess, up until they added steel. No, do not fucking attack it. <laughs> I'll shit a dick. I want this stupid thing to come with us. I don't know why, because it's a female Mr. Mime. Oh my god. I'm gonna use substitute. You're fucking stupid! Just come! Come with! Come on! It's dick. Why are you making this so difficult? I hate it. I'm like... Almost raging to the point where I just want to fucking like destroy it and be done with it. I've wasted like half my Pokeballs on this piece of crap Pokemon that I don't even really fucking like, but the randomizer's like, no, try it out, bro. It's gonna be good, bro. I hate it! Ah! Uh, why you? You little fuck. You little bastard. Just come on. Just do it. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Mega troll! I'm being fucking ultra trolled by this thing. Are you kidding me? Do it, you shit dick. I'm not I'm not playing games. Yes! Yes! Come on! <sighs> No! I'm gonna waste all my Pokeballs trying to catch this stupid, stupid fuck. It's been so close the past couple times that I'm like, really hesitating to give up on it. Come on. Ah! You fucking piece of crap. <laughs> Mr. Mime's dad was that to the Pokedex. It's a Mrs. Mime. It is adept at conning people. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's hilarious! It is said it is able to create walls out of thin air by miming. And I will give it a nickname. This fucking little con, it's Tranny. Tranny the Mr. Mime. The Mrs. Mr. Mime. What an asshole, dude. Oh, I really hope I can make it fucking... Should I go to Vermilion Pokemon Center? We can catch more Pokemon if we do. I'll swoop around this guy. 
Because fuck that. And then I think I have to fight those. Or at least one of them. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Huh? You want to talk to me? N no, I was trying really hard to avoid you, actually. All right, Camper Jeff. Oh God, Wobbafoot. I hate it. I hate it so. Well, he does have substitute, so we actually can fight against a Wobbafoot in our own weirdly Mr. Mimey way. So I will waste the super potion to heal up my stupid Mr. Mime. He counters, which isn't good. I don't know if I have anything that isn't a physical move. Yeah, I got confusion. Okay. So I can sub up and uh, fire off some confusions and shit like that. I wish I had leftovers so I could regain my health behind this sub. I already can tell this is going to be a, a long fight. We're going to go over time here. So, in advance, I apologize. <laughs> He's countering. That's fine. I'm just going to try and whittle him down with confusion. I don't think he has Encore or anything like that. Yeah, that's doing alright damage. And I don't know if he's going to change up to Mirror Coat or if he only has Counter. So we'll hit him with another Confusion. Why not? Roll them dice. Whatever. Yeah, I think he only has Counter. Extreme Fortune! Fuck, maybe I shouldn't hate on Mr. Mime so hard. Maybe the game's trying to tell me something. But he is a tranny. Oh, there's the mirror coat. Substitute faded. Shite. But that substitute actually is really quite a boon for like a low level Pokemon. It's amazing how how useful it makes itself. So there's the counter. I'm gonna fucking meditate. Meditate to max and just start fucking double slapping the shit out of everything. <laughs> Because that's what trannies do, right? You ever seen these fucking dudes in a dress with big ass arms and shit? It's like, bro, are you kidding me? You're not fooling anybody! But it's adept at conning people, apparently. Only at bars, because that's where people are fucking drunk. But I'll admit, in Japan I had a run-in with a tranny. It was like this, uh, tiny little black man, I guess, in a dress and shit. I was like trying to talk to him, this dude walks up behind me. Uh, when I was going to the bathroom and he's like, that chick you're talking to is a tranny. And we fucking left the bar so fast. I left my sweater and shit. <laughs> but I didn't want to leave it because it was Quicksilver and it was, like, thick and really nice. So I went back and, like, th she was still there with my fucking sweater. <laughs> and I just snatched it and, like, she had this sad look on her face. But she didn't need to ask, uh, why or what was happening. I, I mean, yeah, pretty obvious why I left. <laughs> Your, your fucking cover's blown! I'm out of here! Alright, so he should be able to fucking... Oh, he's Destiny Bond. God damn it. I guess it's better than breaking my substitute. But anyways, yeah. That's my, my tranny story. It's It scars me to this day. <laughs> like, yeah. Every time I go anywhere, I'm just like, Do you have a dick? You gotta look at the hands. Because, uh, you can't perform cosmetic surgery on the hands. Like, I've got pretty fucking feminine hands, but they still, uh, look like a man's hands. You know what I mean? Like, they're not fucking worn and shit from working on cars, but they're just big and kind of hairy and the knuckles and shit like that. It's not a woman's hand! I don't know why I'm talking about trannies so much anyways. I guess I have nothing to talk about while I'm fucking boosting up and shit. But, uh, oh, because the name is Tranny, duh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Deoxys is super fast with Nightshade. It's gonna do 16 damage per hit, but hopefully I can just double slap this thing into the ground right now. Fucking Deoxys, bro. <laughs> Tranny beats up a Deoxys. <laughs> ah, it's the funniest. He thought I was gonna substitute again. Not the case. Bam. Done. You got fucking your shit handed to you by a muscle-bound tranny. <laughs> At least it's leveling up. At least I haven't killed it yet. Remember poor fucking Chip the Graveler or whatever its name was? 
Oh, wow. I just, uh, yeah. It's a really good thing that that Pokemon has Substitute, so now I kind of have a fucking safeguard against Wobbuffets and shithead Pokemon like that. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope you did enjoy, and if you did, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Follow me on the social media, tell your mom, whatever. <laughs> and until, until the next time, friends. I thought that shit about your mom was really funny. Bye bye <laughs> Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.